So for making your top and bottom parts of that maze in Onshape, you're going to want to use these drawings that are in Schoology. And I'm a little zoomed in here, but it gives you all the dimensions that you need. And I'm going to kind of walk you through the basic process of making this. Um, it won't be fully step by step, so you will need to refer to these drawings to get some of these dimensions. So if I open up mine, so this is the two pieces fully assembled. Uh, we'll start with the bottom maze part. Um, so this is the part that will actually make your maze into. I'm going to get rid of these just to make it a little easier. Um, so the maze that you design will go into this middle square. So if I start from the beginning of how I made this shape, uh, my first sketch is just um, making it the square. And then I extruded it the depth of it, and then my second sketch, so if you look at the extrude, um, that was making it that first um, height of it, so that full height, and then I cut away on my sketch two. I made uh, that kind of outer lip that gets cut away, so I used all those measurements, and my extrude two, got rid of that. My third thing I did, was make the little indent in the middle. So I used those measurements and did the extrude. So that is that bottom part of the maze. So then in a new part, so doing new part studio, um, the top of it. So I again start with just making the outside shape and then I extruded it. So I did the height of one of those little steps on it. And then the second part, I use these dimensions to um, make that first little indent lip and extruded it to cut it down. My third sketch, so make that kind of window in the middle. So right in the middle, I used all those measurements and use the remove to cut it away. I did an inch just to cut it all away. My fourth sketch here is making this little round part. Um, so just remember radius, if it's giving you the diameter of something, radius is half of it. So you can kind of figure that out. So then I extruded that guy to make it the same height. And then my fifth sketch is to make that little hole in the middle and I cut that away. So that is the real quick rundown. You might have to look back at some of those sheets that are in Schoology to get some of those measurements. You might be able to quickly grab them off of this video with pausing and we'll use these and we'll make your um, maze that you get to design that'll go into here. So you'll do another sketch. Um, in this inside part here um, once you know what your shape is. So you'll plan out the maze shape. So make sure you're reading um, these little directions that are in. So if you open it up, it gives you more directions on what to do.